we have a serious man down situation so we have to get this trailer unhooked from this truck pull that hitch out and then head to town to go rescue Severn So Severin is a friend of mine. He's also the uh, shop manager and service writer at Elite Fleet Automotive. If you call there or walk in, he is the person you will talk to. Nate owns Elite Fleet, Severin's the boss. Severin also has a really nice Grand Cherokee. And unfortunately, it sounds like the engine in his Grand Cherokee blew up. So he's sitting at Taco Bell waiting for us. We're gonna go over there, get him picked up, hauled back over to the shop where I'm sure he'll be able to get himself a pretty good appointment time. And then we might need to give him a ride home after that. I don't know, we'll figure that out as we go. Look at this guy here is riding a motorcycle. It is 34 degrees outside. Are you kidding me? There he is. Oh, Cherokee down, that's terrible. Severin, what happened? Oh man, I was just driving through the parking lot and just pretty much died and just spits and sputters and makes some bad noises. Like clanky noises? Oh, you know, I'm having high hopes. There's not a major clunking but uh, it's not good. It's uh, not good. Maybe I threw a rocker or something, but engine's uh, not happy. You wanna know something really messed up? At least you got the right kind of winch. Yeah, and I just got a brand new rope. What's the really messed up part? This part right here it says arriving early. My uh, rock sliders I just ordered. Oh yeah, I just got a notification. <laughs> They're arriving early. Return. <laughs> like, all right, I'll make a cool table out of them. No, that just means um, bigger, badder engine. LS swap. I totally have done a lot of research on it. It's doable on this, and uh, hey, you know, if I can find a LS to throw in there, a 5.3, maybe even a 6.0, yeah, just a 5.3 would be fine. I'll be on Craigslist tonight. Well, in 10 years, this is the third time this baby's ever been towed. Interrupted your dinner, man. Okay, yeah, you're lucky it's a Cherokee or I'd be eating dinner right now. <laughs> let's, let's, Cherokee guys, we gotta st stick together, man. I didn't come to save the Severin, I came to save the Cherokee. I'll remember that. <laughs> How many miles are on it? Um, 236,000. That's super not comforting because mine has 230,000. And you know, those are not the easiest miles on this motor. Service perfectly. I was with you in the snow when it was a <laughs> all the way through. Hey, gotta keep up with those tracks, man. I know. All right, but let's, uh, out of like nine vehicles, who showed up there first? The two Jeep Cherokees. Yeah, buddy. All right, so this gap in the curb right here, we can sneak through. If I cannot run over that one, the Jeep can. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's a Jeep. We can hop a couple curbs. All right, we made it. That was pretty smooth. Why did you sound surprised? I, I wasn't surprised. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, Severn, guess what? What? Another roundabout. Another roundabout. How, there's got to be like companies in this town that do nothing but build roundabouts. Yeah, there's a lot. I lost count. Yeah, every time you turn around, there's another one being built. There's there's two of them together, like a peanut over downtown. Oh, if you go over on the west side, there's two roundabouts next to each other with a small roundabout in between to get from one roundabout to the other roundabout. That's insane, bro. I went through it twice just to film it the second time, but <laughs> I, then I, I don't know what happened to that video. I'll do it again. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so we are sneaking in to the shop the back way, which means we got to go through these people's shop yard and then drop over the ledge on the back and go four-wheeling to your shop. Yep, pretty much. 
which is okay because we're towing a jeep it can do it yeah it's a nice little drop off by the canal here but we're all completely all right we just put this thing in the canal after all this yeah uh how sharp is that turn oh i just catapulted ball. your jeep yeah <laughs> i'll bounce it up in the back then, yeah right against this fence and then don't fall in the canal you want it right there yeah right here I will tuck it over as far as I can. I can fire it up and move it. Ooh, move you're it. a brave man. Well, she's done. She's done. <laughs> you're really going for that LS swap, aren't you? Uh, yeah. We got this. A lot of confidence for a guy who just blew his engine. Hey, man. A lot of confidence over here. But I feel like you were on the verge of a comeback right there, but just couldn't quite yeah. get it out. <laughs> What? That's like the handiest thing ever for a tow truck driver. Not bad, huh? Yeah. Oh, and since I know I'm in it, comments about, why didn't you put the dollies on it? You're gonna ruin it. You put dollies on everything. Severin has switched out his transfer case to 242? 242 HD. So it has a true two wheel drive, not an all wheel drive anymore. It, this one can be towed from the back with the front wheels on the ground. And I trust that Severin has done his maintenance and this has got fluid in the diffs and the bearings aren't all blown out, even though his it. engine did just blow. But we're not gonna talk about that. So I feel confident in towing this one on the front wheels because I actually know a little bit about this one. Most of the vehicles I tow, I don't know anything about them. I don't know the maintenance on them. That's why I don't trust towing them on the front wheels. So there. You need to trim your body a little farther so my straps fit. Nah, there's, le there's a little less than an inch, we're good. Actually, when it goes to 37s, it's going to get trimmed all the way to the door, all the way up whoa, around. Whoa, 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 whoa. First I heard LS, now I'm hearing 37s. Oh yeah, this thing's getting one, one ton. Ton. It's getting one tons. One tons. Yeah, we're putting some Dana 60s under this bad boy. It's, uh, it's, already, it's already been talked about. Full coilovers in the front. We ain't messing around anymore. It's uh, officially probably going to be retired as my daily driver. <laughs> Let's see if she'll, uh, she'll get her moved a little bit. You want to fire this thing up? I don't want to, but you know, why not? <laughs> what could go wrong at this point? I think I can get her to move a few, few feet, maybe. It's not blown up, it's just got cam lope like a hot rod. Yep. So there's a shop vehicle here that Severin can drive home. And we're looking all over the place for it and can't find it anywhere. Couldn't figure out what happened to it. You know the one place we didn't look? In the shop. Hey, imagine that. There's like vehicles in the shop too. Yeah, and the one that I'm allowed to drive home is the furthest one in. So I gotta move some cars. The one on the rack? Yeah. Oh man. Wait, I'm gonna go make sure they didn't drain oil or something first. Yeah, let's make sure that one like starts. I mean, I could just give him a ride, but he's stubborn. <laughs> oh, come on, it's a Ford, of course. This one's supposed to be run good. It died, why would it die? It's a new car, it's supposed to run. Hey, Casey, you wanna drop me off at my house on your way home? <laughs> yeah, I can do that. <sighs> well, let's do that, that, that we talked about like from the beginning. I tried, I tried. I have an option. I can drive the minivan, but I would rather get a ride. <laughs> you drive a Cherokee. It's the same thing as a minivan. Hey, watch your mouth. He thinks he can shut the door on me, but I can just come over here and still talk smack to him. You can't shut the door on me when there's another door right here. I, I can walk it. Hey, Seven. Hey, what's up? How about you just ride with me? I'll just ride with you. <laughs> Well, thanks for the ride home. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Oh, so man. you're driving the old classic now? Yeah, the old Monte Carlo. Nice. This will fire her up. She always starts up. All right, well, we'll see you later. All right, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Have a good one. You too, man. All right, well, that is that. We got seven dropped off. We got a sheep over to the shop. And uh, now I can go home and eat some cold dinner. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.